Yeah. Welcome to That's Good Sports. I'm Brandon. I have never received a long-term contract perna. And the Minnesota Vikings announced that they will not uh, franchise tag Case Keenum, and they will allow the quarterback, who is part of the greatest play in Vikings history, hit the free agency market, probably. I find this very surprising because Keenum had a tremendous season, helping lead the Vikings to a 13-3 record and advancing to the NFC Championship game. What the fuck does this mean for the Vikings, for the quarterback market, and for the Broncos, who will be chasing possibly both Kirk Cousins and Case Keenum now? That's good sports. To help understand this a bit, uh, I need to discuss the fact that the Vikings lost their offensive coordinator, Pat Shermer, after he accepted the head coaching position with the New York Giants. That's important because he was the guy who orchestrated success with Case Keenum. The Eagles lost their quarterback's coach to the Vikings, John DeFilippo, who helped coach Nick Foles to Super Bowl MVP status. I have no idea what DeFilippo thinks about Keenum, but I know after working with Sam Bradford briefly in Philly, he loves him some Sam Bradford. I mentioned DeFilippo, not because his name's just fun to say, but because he will have a huge say in who the Vikings' uh, next quarterback is. The QB that lands in Minnesota gets a top five defense, in my opinion, a top three trio of ball catchers in Stephon Diggs, Adam Thielen, and Kyle Rudolph. The Vikings still can sign Keenum to some sort of deal before free agency starts. Uh, the Jags just signed Blake Bortles to a team-friendly deal, uh, and Minnesota may do that with Keenum instead of paying him the 20 plus million a franchise tag would have cost. But there are now reports that the Vikings and Kirk Cousins have mutual interest. This mutual masturbation between Cousins and the Vikings is definitely the safe play here. Nobody ever got herpes while participating in mutual masturbation, but beware of Big Dick Nick to turn this into a full-fledged fuck-off. I'm not sure what Minnesota could offer in terms of a trade with Philadelphia to land Nick Foles, but if DeFilippo is a size queen, I could easily see Big Dick Nick landing in Minnesota and kicking the shit out of the Eagles in the NFC Championship game next January. That's just speculation on my part based on the fact that I know DeFilippo and Nick Foles have a relationship. Not saying that's even a real possibility, just guessing. Case Keenum was one of the best play action quarterbacks in the NFL in 2017. He threw for 1,200 yards and had a 69.1 completion percentage after fake sticking the ball into the running back's gut. To me, that suggests he'd be a good fit in Minnesota with DeFilippo running that RPO, run pass option shit everyone likes to talk about. Case Keenum's 2017 performance stacks up well with Kirk Cousins and Drew Brees, other possible free agent quarterbacks. Keenum had more deep passing touchdowns than Drew Brees in 2017. Kirk Cousins had the most of the free agent QBs with 10 deep passing TDs and the most touchdowns uh, while under pressure. The only free agent quarterback to throw for more yards under pressure than Keenum was Cousins. The big difference there is Cousins had nine touchdowns and nine interceptions under pressure. Keenum had five touchdowns, but only two picks under pressure. Again, to compare with Cousins, when kept clean in the pocket, Keenum had 17 touchdowns to five picks. Cousins, 18 touchdowns to four picks. Breeze blew them both away with 23 touchdowns and five picks. And that's from a clean pocket, but nobody believes Drew Breeze is actually leaving New Orleans. Again, I think this move for the Vikings is an indication they may want Cousins, and that they are willing to lose Keenum, even if they don't sign Cousins, because they can probably still bring back Teddy Bridgewater or Sam Bradford, and they may still just want Teddy Bridgewater. I don't fucking know. Right now, the only quarterback guaranteed to be in purple and yellow in 2018 is former Broncos quarterback Kyle Sloter, third string quarterback that they let go to the Vikings in the preseason. So Broncos fans, write your boners for Sloter's comments in the comment section right now. If the Vikings do let Case Keenum hit free agency, it's an indication that they believe he cannot carry a team and that his performance was a result of the guys around him. The shitty thing, at least for Broncos fans, is that Minnesota is a much more appealing destination for Kirk Cousins right now than is Denver. If only Kirk Cousins liked weed 
and thin, dry air that dries out your private parts after too much just regular, not mutual masturbation. Ah, we could get him here if he loved that. The Vikings defense will be intact for 2018, which is important for a guy like Cousins who didn't have a fucking defense in 2017. Minnesota is better at every skill position uh, right now than the Broncos. Tight end Kyle Rudolph will be in Minnesota for at least two more years. Adam Thielen is signed through 2020. Stefan Diggs is, will be a free agent in 2019, but I bet they re-sign him. And rookie running back Dalvin Cook will return to the roster. That's an appealing situation for a quarterback. The Vikings also have an estimated 55 million in cap space with all their key players signed through 2018. Many of them signed longer than that. Minnesota is set up to be good for the next few years, especially if they land a guy like Cousins and they don't have to cut or trade guys like Aqib Tlaib or Emmanuel Sanders just to be able to pay Cousins. Now, if John Elway convinces Kirk to come to Denver instead of signing with the Vikings, it will be one of his most impressive moves as an NFL GM. But the silver lining here is this. Hey, the Broncos end up with Case Keenum, and draft a quarterback, they're in a better situation than they were last year. And honestly, Baker Mayfield plays the game a lot like Case Keenum. They're about the same size and play well under pressure. Theoretically, if Denver had them both, uh, the same offense would work seamlessly for Mayfield and or Keenum, which I think is important when you're actually trying to develop or groom a young quarterback with an average or below average coaching staff like the Broncos have. In no sane football world would Trevor Simeon and Paxton Lynch run the same offense, which is a big problem nobody talks about. And I feel like Simeon and Lynch were asked to do shit that they weren't good at, which is the opposite of what you want as a quarterback. Anyway, all I'm saying is that Mayfield and Keenum, they're similar. I think they're similar, which might be helpful to the Broncos coaching staff. Anyway, the unknown right now is whether or not Case Keenum can continue to play at a high level regardless of his surroundings. Kirk Cousins statistically had a very similar year to Keenum on a much shittier team. And Cousins has been consistent as a passer in the NFL for the last four seasons. If the mutual masturbation between Kirk and Minnesota is real, I'll be surprised if he signs anywhere other than the land of the Mall of America. Thanks for watching another episode of That's Good Sports. Please subscribe here on YouTube, share these videos on Facebook. You can support this channel on Patreon, patreon.com slash that's good sports. Don't forget to vote for me in the Mile High Report Media Madness Bracket Challenge. That video also went up today. If you wanna know how to vote, check it.